Now, we walk, but our walks, when I say walks, are not really what people think will walk. So she points her foot, getting high relevy, and she holds in this shape, again the hips being tight for five. Now she steps on this foot, holds in lower her back, hold it off, a little bit higher with square hips for five. Now side by side, put it beside that middle thing. Yes, right beside. Put it beside it, like it's the beam. And hold. Now that's the most important thing. And then point it low forward for five. Then she takes a step and arabesque, side by side. Of course, she can't do it now. And forward. But the side by side is where all the leaps come through. So the advanced ones would be <laughs> getting high releve, have it beside this, beside, put it beside. Now just swing it front and back. They should be able to swing that freely. Because what's supposed to happen is she's going to kick it up and then kick it down and then turn. The hips are supposed to be activated. But nobody is comfortable holding. It has to be high four starts. Thank you, sweetheart. So the coaches follow them at developmental camp and tops and hold the heel forward so that they're full releve. And then they lift up in the hips so that they can hold it. It's the hip square and it goes arabesque, side, forward. We hold it for five. Then we move it very crisp back and side and forward. Then that moves into a motor skill, okay? Uh, you wanna come back? Sorry. Girls, you can try it on this panamat. On the side of the panamat. Yeah, get, yeah, hold one foot off. Put it side by side. Now point it forward. Hold it off. So she's here, she puts it forward. Now, everybody thinks that when you walk, you should roll away. Whew. Okay, now she's going to try to take a step, push off this foot, and put the foot out there to take a step. And go, push, take a bigger step, bigger step, bigger step. Do it again. Bigger step. That. No, nope, die before you bend that leg. Don't die. And go. <laughs> and push. Okay? What happens is that we do the holds. We do it crisp for one count. So that's five count, one count. Then this is where... It's supposed to get a transfer of weight. This is why I did sliders for aerials. This is why I do a lot of the stuff. We have no transfer of weight. You'll watch a dance class when they transfer their weight. My friend, when I got a dance degree, she was 4'11". Don't run off. <laughs> Stay up here with me, babe, okay? So, um, it, she could go across the floor. You know Russell, okay, Russell's this tall. My friend was 4'11". 